guys, it's been a while since our last meet, right? How are you guys? Hi guys, I'm just doing fine this day. How did you guys spend your semester break? Because as for me, I'm spending my time with my family members and we just come back from our village. <coughs> oh, that sounds interesting. For me, I just do a part-time job for my side income. I have done a lot of fun activities there and the most exciting part is I'm visiting my uncle farm. At the farm, there are a lot of animals just like chicken, sheep, goat and also cow. Wow, that's amazing. But make sure you are extra careful and prioritize your hygiene. Oh, you'd have to worry about that. <coughs> are you okay, Pika? You have been clogging a lot recently. Have you consulted to the doctor? Guys, don't worry about me. This is just this is just a common cough. <coughs> this doesn't need to go to the hospital, okay? Are you sure, Pika? If you want, I can accompany you to the hospital now. It's okay. I'm fine. Thank you, Mizaro, for your offer. <coughs> Hello Pika, how have you been? Have your cough getting better? Oh, hello Shafiza. No, it's not. Even though I am already consumed the cough syrup for two weeks, but it didn't give any effect. <coughs> I'm worried. To be frank Pika, actually how long have you caught cough? And are there any symptoms that seems unusual? It's already been two weeks. I also have other symptoms, okay? I'm frequently feeling pain in my chest and not to mention that I'm always sweating at night and also sometimes I notice that when I'm cough there are blood sputter. Oh this really made me feel worried. Hmm that sounds pretty serious. I think we need to go and see doctor right now. Hello Shafiza I think that you guys need to go home first uh, since I'm warded because there are a few more tests that need to be done okay we will head back first let us know if you need something thank you for accompanying me I will keep update to you guys okay bye <gasps> what happened I need to tell them I can keep this to myself and they need to know no matter what ah! guys I think that um, I think that I have a bad news to tell you guys. Actually, the doctor has confirmed that I'm positive tuberculosis. That also now as TB. It was the answer for all of the symptoms that I have. <sighs> I'm really sorry for not listening to you guys earlier. I'm never expected that it's gonna turn this worse. Okay, I'm never expected to have tuberculosis. Oh my god. How did you get that disease, Pika? I don't know, but according to the doctor, uh, I may be a close contact to a person who also positive TB. But I don't know who is that person. <coughs> oh, I need to answer this. Oh, hi auntie. Really? Oh my god. Okay. I will tell my parents. Don't worry. Thank you. Bye. What's wrong, Pika? Did anything important happen? Sorry, guys. My, that's my aunt. She said that my uncle also diagnosed with TB, and it has confirmed that the cause of the spreadness of TB and the cause of the illness is from the cow at my uncle's farm. But how? Have you by any chance heard that livestock also may have carried the bacteria for the TB disease? This bacteria also known as Microbacterium tuberculosis, but in animal, it's known as Microbacterium bovis or bovine TB. Animals can easily get infected as they mostly like to wander around the environment. Did you buy any chance during a raw milk there? I did, but it's just a little because I'm curious about the taste. Hmm, maybe you get infected from there. That's why we need to be extra careful with everything we consume. 
Ezania said this disease was caused by a bacteria called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. The bacteria usually attack the lungs, but can also damage uh, other parts of the body like brain, bone, and spine. This disease is contagious but not easy to catch and require lab tests or imaging. Other than that, this disease can cause for several months or years and if untreated may lead to complications and dangerous and life threatening such as lung function damage, cardiac tamponade and laryngitis. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is a slow-growing bacteria that thrive in human body that rich with blood and oxygen such as lungs. This bacteria can be transmitted when someone untreated cough, speak, sneeze, spit, laugh or sing. It usually spreads after a prolonged exposure with the infected individual. There are also a few who have weak immunity are at high risk such as a person with diabetes, a chronic kidney problem, a cancer, or HIV. The symptoms are persistent cough which lasts for more than 2 weeks, cough with plus sputum, fever more than 2 weeks, pain in chest, weight loss, sweating at night, and loss of appetite. But don't worry, there are a few steps we can take to prevent this disease. Wear mask if one of the family member or close contact is infected. Avoid large gathering. Wash or sanitize hands regularly when outside. Keep house sufficiently ventilated and follow and educate on cough and sneeze etiquette. Oh, and BCG or basal calmet guarin is a vaccine for tuberculosis disease. However, the BCG vaccine should be considered only for very selected person who meet specific criteria and in consultation with a TB expert. Common tests that have been conducted to determine the presence of bacteria is tuberculin skin test, CT scan, spatum culture test, and interferon gamma release assay IGRA, which is a blood test. Treatment is often a success, but it is a long process. It usually takes about six to nine months. But some TB infections need to be treated up to two years. Last but not least, we must protect ourselves from any kind of disease to maintain our health.